All right, cool. Man's got some copper carbonate there, innit? Now, copper carbonate is made from copper metal and carbon dioxide, innit? Now, we can actually separate the carbon dioxide from the copper by using heat. This is known as thermal decomposition. Now, thermal stands for heat, obviously, and decomposition means to break down, innit? Boom. So, this lime water thing is what we're going to use to test for the presence of carbon dioxide gas, innit? Now, lime water is a clear and transparent liquid. However, when it comes into contact with carbon dioxide, it turns to a white, milky colour. So we're going to see wild guam when the CO2 goes in there, innit? Obviously, man just setting up the apparatus and that. You know what's going on, come on. Alright, cool. So let's heat up the copper carbonate and see wild guam, innit? So straight away, we can see bare bubbles and that going into the lime water. Now that's CO2 gas, innit? And the CO2 is going to make the lime water turn milky and that, as we can see. Now when copper carbonate is heated up, it breaks down into carbon dioxide and copper oxide, innit? And copper oxide is a black powder. So that's why the copper carbonate in the boiling tube has turned black. Because copper oxide was made in it. You know what's going on, come on. 